Cheers, good day. Sonia Bernard, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator with Linked by Ink with my Go Getter Cup. My friend Brooke gave me this. It's like a ceramic travel mug uh, a few years back. I think it was for my birthday. But I love that. I love that cup. I, I just love coffee cups. I love coffee and coffee cups. So I'm just finding myself on here. So today, or volume. <sighs> Yep, every time I get that volume and I forget to turn it off on my phone. So today I'm going to bring you um, four cards and they are some fun fold cards. So um, they're going to be super cute. But first, of course, I will be remiss if I didn't remind you that celebration is happening right now, 5 January to 28 February. And we can open it up and we can look at all the things now. And oh, look this paper fancy that so um that's kind of funny that I fell on that this is the paper that we're going to be using today um for this for this card kit okay so and uh, of course the stamp sets and all kinds of fun stuff in there remember it's um free items with a 50 dollars purchase or more before shipping and tax and then of course today if you shop with me use the host code that's in the link you not only get, um, when you spend $35 before shipping or tax, you'll get this card kit mailed out to you, two um, of each design, so eight cards. And um, then, of course, if your, if your um, order goes up to $50, you are going to get your celebration item. And you'll also get from me a pack of the iridescent pearls because they go with these cards. So that's when your order hits $50 or more. You'll get the card kit, the pearls, and the celebration item from Stampin' Up. So the new mini, yay. The join offer, let's not forget the super cute boho blue machine. Um, join specials are amazing. You know I've been telling you all about them. If you want to know more, reach out. We'd love to have you on the team. We've got new team members this week. I'm so excited. Okay, let's start. Let's jump right in and start. We're going to make this card here. And it's a cute little fun fold happy birthday and I did put a piece on the back so that you could write a message up on here so we're gonna go ahead and see there's that beautiful celebration paper so let's turn it down and get started with our first one I've got it all prepped in my little baggie here ready to go let's turn this down Okay, so we're starting with some basic black cardstock, and that's going to be um, eight and a half by five and a half, and then it's scored at four and a quarter, but we're also going to score it at two and one eighth because we're going to want to fold that back over. Oh, my kitten is here. I was hoping she would sleep through this. Oh, I may have to put her um, up in the room. Did you just wake up? Are you going to make a? Are you going to make a? appearance there miss thing okay so we're going to take that and where we've scored it at two and an eighth we're going to fold it back on itself like this and make sure to burnish remember start at the middle and work your way out then we're going to take our beautiful dsp which was free with a 50 dollar purchase or more before shipping and tax <laughs> so we're going to take that celebration paper and we're going to add a five and a quarter by a four, four inch piece here. Oh no, has my glue, my glue, there we go. Sometimes it just gets a little, little stuck there. She's sitting in my stamp cleaning pad. That's hilarious. Lucky it's non-toxic. Are you going to try to help me glue it down? There we go. So we're going to glue that piece and then we've got another little piece and this is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter and we're going to put that there which way looks better I don't think it actually makes it well it doesn't really make a difference but you know how sometimes you turn it and it just makes a difference to you well we've seen in cattail that you know we've we've got a kitten people we have a kitten that's Libby. She is three months old. She's my little rag doll. She has her own Instagram. Oh my gosh, I hope she doesn't start climbing up my back. She does that sometimes, so if I just yell out randomly, 
it's because I'm getting claws in my back okay then we're gonna get our um please don't do it another piece of bl um, basic black and this is five and a half by two and three quarter and we're gonna just um, fold that in half if you want to score it that's at two and three quarter and we are going to stick this onto here and then we've got some DSP we're going to layer down on there. Actually, let's layer that DSP first. I think that might be better. And so that DSP, let me find where's my measurements. Um, 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 two and a half by two and a half. There we go. Don't knock over my book, Libby. That's how I'm reading all my measurements. There we go. So we'll stick that in there. Now, when you get this kit, all these pieces will be cut for you. All the so you get all the designer series paper, all this black cardstock will be already cut. All these die cut pieces will be cut. Just no stamping. I cannot do stamping, and you know that takes away the fun anyway. You should do the stamping. So I always forget to see if anyone's made comments in the chat. Noob, but hi if you're watching. It is all overcast in Drury today, but it's not too cold, so it's kind of nice. I think it's in like mid 60s. I'll take overcast in 60s rather than overcast in 30s. Nobody likes that. Well, some people do. I do not. So now we're going to put um, how I do it is I visually like put it where I think that's about where I want it. You could go a little further over so it's more centered. I think I like that better. And then I kind of stick one finger about here, like I pinch it. So I know, okay, I want glue about no further than an inch on that because you don't want it going over the edge. And then I kind of whoop, got glue on there. Try to position it again as best I can. There we go. So this is a very nice easy fold that you could use so many different papers with I mean just you know the world's your oyster with this one as far as creativity you could also put um, we're gonna put a sentiment up in here but you could put an image of some kind up in there as well and that makes that easy and then I I went ahead and I did cut out the sentiment I cheated so we are using the um, something fancy dies and um, my awesome team lead Rebecca. Her and I talk every day because we just both love stamping up that much and we bounce ideas off each other and um, provide support to each other. So she was doing this too and she's like, wait, I'll just make a frame with that. And then you use this inside piece. We're going to use that in here anyway, which I have not stamped. So when you just use two, am I in the, let me make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, when you use two die cut pieces, and then you get a cute little frame. And that's with any layering dies you can do that with to make a frame. But it fits perfectly around the white piece, like this. So it makes a little frame for the sentiment I really like that it's a very smart idea and the, the sentiments that we're using are also from something fancy and that's this set here and they coordinate just perfectly so what do we need in the middle we need a um I love this card I didn't forget your birthday I'm just stretching out the celebration if one of my team members is watching guess what's coming for you in mail because <laughs> I'm late already I got a couple of team members all got birthdays this month January is a very busy month actually I actually have three team members three days in a row birthdays so that is a fun um, sentiment so of course you can use whatever sentiments you have at the house already you don't have to purchase um, this stamp set and die. Oh, I just kicked a kitten. Jeez, are you okay? Okay, it wasn't hard. <laughs> that sounds bad. I kicked a kitten. My poor baby. She was under my feet and I stood up. Okay. Happy birthday. And again, you can make this like any sentiment you want. You can put in here. 
So we're just going to put that down flat. I would definitely not dimensional that because that, you know, you're going to close the card up. And then just kind of put it in the center. You want to make sure when you're putting it down, you're not sticking it out over here. So make sure you're, it's about center. If you've centered this, then you center that, you should be good to go. But just double check it real quick before you stick it down. Especially if you're using um, snail or whatever, because I find this just works better because you can, my, my wiggle, wiggle glue, I call it, also known as Tombow Multi. But uh, it gives you that wiggle room. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around that frame. And I am going to do this flat. Oh, I forgot. Don't put glue on the edge because <laughs> it's going to hang off a little bit. Whoops. That's okay. And I'm going to glue that down. Now I've got glue all over my fingers. What's new? Let's just wipe that off real quick. So remember, don't put glue on this edge. Don't do like I did. Okay. And then the sentiment, which I've already cheated and stamped. And just line that up and stick it in the middle. Now this, um, I needed a ribbon, pale papaya, I think. What am, no, petal pink? What am I using? Dark petal pink. So our ribbon choices, we used to have a lot more ribbon, but, you know, to carry stock it costs money so um it's better i think this gives you a lot more versatility sorry i need a need a pad so you can take this any white ribbon that you have and use our stamp and blends and color it and i love that about this i absolutely love it because you just run it over and it dries you know really quickly because it's alcohol based and whatever color blend you have you can just match it and coordinate that ribbon which is fantastic and look how easy and quick that is boom that's probably quicker than it's going to take me to tie a knot a <laughs> tie a ribbon because i left my bow maker somewhere else so just give it a quick second it smells like alcohol ribbon okay I'll just do a bunny ear bow. I am not the greatest at bows. That's why I have my bow maker, but it's at the other end of my craft room and I'm trying to be more expedient. Oh, apparently that's not working. Bunny ears. Okay, if we don't put the bow on it, it's no big whoop. You get it. Oh, here we go. All right. Anyone else like a struggle with bows? This is why I have my bow maker. Just, you know what? I'm probably just not going to put that on and I'm going to pretend it's there. Um, I want to do a pretty one with my bow maker. And then some iridescent pearls. Boop, boop, boop. And that one is done. So we'll just pretend it looks pretty. Okay. Next one is... Oh, I really love these ones. This is called an easel card. And... It's flat, it mails flat, it's fantastic, but then it pops up and goes like that. So if you're looking at it from this way, from the camera angle, I really like these little cards and they're not that hard. They do take um, two pieces of cardstock. So we have our base. Let me get all the pieces out. Oh, look, this one I already tied the bows. Okay, so again with the um, fresh freesia because it's just so pretty and this is um, four and a quarter by 11 and we've scored it at five and a half and two and three quarter so it's scored like that because we want this part that's the one that's going to give you your tent. If I look at this way here's our tent. The top part is our little tent part so we're going to bring that in towards us we're getting in the tent meow what is wrong with you don't tell me you've got to use the bathroom no so then we've got our piece of um basic white and 
that is four by five and a quarter and we're going to put that on the inside before we do anything else because we need a spot to write our sentiments or our heartfelt words for thank you okay she's playing okay And then sometimes, you know, when you cut the paper, it has that little edge on it. I just take my bone folder and press it down. It makes it smoother. So we're going to pop that in there. And then we've got some DSP. And this is four by, wrong one. <laughs> this is four by one and a half. And we're going to put that on the bottom about, I don't know, quarter inch up. So, let's glue that down real quick. And there's that piece. I love this paper. And I didn't think I would when I saw it in the Celebration Catalog. I was like, wow, that's kind of busy. But it's busy in a really good way. Like, I just really like it. So then we've got our basic black, three and three quarter by five. And we're going to have our DSP, which is three and a half by four and three quarter and we're just going to layer that together again think you know when you like creating this thinking like this would make a fun birthday card too the thing i love about card making is you can just take the basic card and then just change the paper the sentiment the color of the paper and you have a whole different card you know you can add different embellishments and it just like changes everything so we are now going to glue this on here so again you do not want to put glue on this top section you only want to put it on this bottom section here so we'll put it about to there again just pinch your card stock and I always go just a little bit under where I'm pinching rather go under than over like this and then we can just basically lay that down flat. We know our glue is not going to go over our crease because we were very accurate with that where we were pinching it. And then you just lay that down there. Just make sure you've got it nice and straight and in the middle. And give, that, give that a second to dry. Then we've got some DSP. And I can't... We... This is a little piece and it's three and a half by one and a half and that's going to go on top here. And I actually just lined it up with the top of the paper. I'm going to put that down. Doo, 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 doo. We're getting there. This card is so pretty. Well, it's one of my favorite colors. I'm going to be so sad when Fresh Freesia goes bye-bye. Then we have this cute little tag. Now, with these tag dies, I don't know if you saw before when I was showing you, but they've got um, this little tulip section here, or it's like a little leaf tree, or just like a little teardrop. So you can choose what kind of little decoration you want up here. So this is the tulip one. And you see the tulip one's over here, but it goes with this. They all go together. So you can mix, mix and match. I really, really, really love that die set. And then we're going to get, this is also, um, this is from Stylish Shapes. Yeah, Stylish. Let me think. Um, wait a second. No, this is from this one. I lied. It's from here. They've got this little rectangle one in here too. Oh, lion. Okay, we're going to do a thank you in there. And memento. And while we're at it, we'll do grateful for the everyday magic of you. There are some people in my life that, yes, they're just wonderful. Now, make sure you've got your, your top and your bottom pointing which way you want to point it. I might do it that way. Stamp. It might be crooked because I'm sitting down and I did not get up for it. I was being lazy. And grateful for the everyday magic of you. And that is another one of these die cuts from that um, something fancy set. 
I love it. Okay, I've got to stand up. Before. Oh, here comes the kitten. I'm going to watch the ink pad. Oh, no. She likes eating my ribbon. So we got to... Oh, she's going to go. Uh-oh. Okay. So then we're going to use some dimensionals. And yes, I left them at the other end of the table. Of course I did. Oh my goodness. I've just not been on the board. I blame the kitten. I blame it on a lack of sleep. Because this one wakes me up every night, several times a night. Only once last night. You get a kitten tail. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're just going to pop these on there. And put down here. And then some dimensionals on the back of this. And I'm going to pop this on at a little angle just to give it a little visual fun. Then our sentiment the cat doesn't eat it. You took my ribbon. Luckily, I've got a second bow already cut over here. So this is what stops. This is our stopper. If you just put that tiny little piece of paper there, it will stay. But you want to make sure it's not going to move. So that's why you throw down a sentiment here. Um, on That's not very straight. I actually might throw one in the middle there because it's kind of bending down in the middle. And this will, see how it just slid? Whoops. So that will prevent it from going any further. There's no way it's going to move. Then we have a cute little ribbon. You know, and I left. <laughs> oh, man. I left the glue dots down here. I am just all messed up today. Ay, ay, ay. My humblest apologies. Ay, ay, ay. So I did... Oh gosh, here she comes. She likes attacking the ribbon. Uh-oh. So we're going to put that there. And we are going to trim it. Uh-oh. She's like ready to pounce. Now she's going after the glue dots. Okay. That's there. Now this other bit, I'm not going to take up the time doing it um but this is from the dsp so this is just fussy cut out and then you're just going to pop that there with the dimensional well not over the top of that and that's that card done and then some bling and we're done so finished there we go we've got the die cut and then some bling now this bling you'll see it's a little more purpley because i took the fresh freesia um Dark Fresh Fuchsia Stamp and Blend, and I coloured in on this, well, on here, coloured in um, a couple of layers of colour. So put some layer, like colour it, let it dry for a minute, colour it, let it dry till it gets like the depth that you want it to, and then that's why those look more purple because I did colour them purple. No, don't start eating the paper. <laughs> don't eat the paper. Okay. We're halfway through, halfway through. This one is a cute stand-up card, um, Move Kitty. So this just um, stands up by itself. And it looks like this. It also folds flat for mailing. So then they get it and they stand up. And then it has a section on the back to write everything that you want to write on it there. So... Let's get this one. Just need a little bit of coffee. And we've got some petal pink cardstock. Now this one, the dimensions are obviously different. This one is four and a quarter by nine and a half. And we're going to score it on the long side at five and a half, six and a half, eight and nine. Now, of course, if you... Um, place your order with me to get the free kit you'll also get the pdf mailed to you so you're going to have all these measurements plus um pictures of the cards in there 
all ready to go so you'll be able to recreate not only the kit that you receive but then for the future when you want to do other cards using this base so we're going to again use all this cute dsp from the um <coughs> excuse me from celebration so we've got our five and a quarter by four and we're going to layer that into the middle and when you want to put this on first because when you fold it down you're not going to get it on afterwards so this like ah oh, i never would have thought i would like this paper there's just some paper you think mm -mm, that's not for me and then you see it in person and you're like hang on that's very much for me i'm actually going to switch it so you see how like i've got the dark orange ones up here with the lighter petal pink one down there so i want to make it visually it kind of goes like this because if i did it all down the bottom i just feel like it's bottom heavy if that makes sense so sometimes you know turning the paper does give it a little bit of a different uh, look when you're looking at it and then we're going to get this piece and put this down here and this is one and a quarter by four and we're just going to stick that there then we are also going to get a piece of <laughs> a piece of kitten in front of the uh, this is petal pink three by five and we're going to score it at a half inch and a one and a half inch and we're going to fold that in and give it a good score give it a good burnish but before we glue it down, we're going to get our little square of DSP at three and a quarter by two and three quarter. And we're going to put that on top. Put this down. Okay. And there we go. And I got too much glue on my fingers. <laughs> So, next, we want to take this half an inch piece and put glue on it, and we're going to fold it down. And we're going to make sure that when we do this, we get a nice square here. So fold it in. Better to go in a little further and then pull it out. That way, if you put it out further and push it in, you're going to leave glue residue. So... Put it in a little further then pull out to make it as square as you can well it actually will be a rectangle i'm lying with my shapes now see how this is going in here so we want to pull that out a little bit and make it more of a rectangle stand it up kind of make sure that you've got it even so it should stand up like this because you can also make this card this way which we've done before right basically it's the same card but it's on its side too easy so when you're happy with that then we are going to just get a little bit of that and about center of this we're going to put it there because when we want to fold it down it needs to fit in the envelope okay so we're going to use probably just a little three quarters of an inch. I feel like someone's getting ready to pounce on me. Oh no, here she comes. And we're going to glue that down there. So I guess I'm going a little bit over halfway with that. Just give that a second to to set because you don't want to be moving it around and then i guess we could have started with the back but we'll finish with the back then we're going to do the same kind of concept here where we put a little bit of glue on this and glue that down so we've kind of got it going oh, make sure it's centered 
so we've got to go in like that okay too easy so this is it it's not hard it's just a little bit of cutting a little bit of scoring a little bit of gluing and um someone is going to love this card stop trying to eat the cord okay <laughs> then we've got this wonderful die cut again and now when you do your sentiment on this one nothing fancy just love we're going to go a little bit to the right okay when you stamp because our flower is going to go a little bit to the left so let's quickly cover that up before kitty comes and steps in it and we will go uh nothing fancy just love like that and then some dimensionals uh oh she's moving in she's like what are you doing ma okay and we're going to stick that the right side up in the middle and then um again i won't waste your time die cutting but you're going to die cut this flower that comes from the paper now i am not going to die cut your pieces when you make the purchase um, it's going to come like this so you will have to not die cut fussy cut you will have to fussy cut around to put that there and some bling on it but we also want to remember we need a spot to write on the back so you can do it one of two ways now you can put the little strip that we have on the right you can put it on the left you can put it wherever you can put it all the way to the edge if you want I like it with a little strip but I think on this one I'm going to put it on the right this time just because that's what I feel like no other reason I just feel like it don't bite me ah I'm getting attacked teething kitten we don't bite no no ma'am okay and then we're just going to make sure we've got this up the right way we'll just glue this on the back now, obviously, if you're like me, do your writing first before you glue it down in case you make a boo-boo. But if you do make a boo-boo, you can just take another piece and literally layer it over top. No one's going to know. And it's usually thick enough to cover up any writing that you've done. Depends what kind of ink you've used, though. If you've used like a Sharpie, I don't, I don't recommend it because it might go through. So there is our little stand-up card cute and then here we go pretend it looks like that there we go okay one more to go almost there doing good if you're hanging in there you are doing good hey valerie thank you she said that's a beautiful card well i hope you love this one because this is a step card and it is really cute I love it and um, it stands up so when it stands up I'm trying to show you like a visual Let me come this way a little bit so it looks like that it like, pokes out so this one is quite complex in the cutting of it and the scoring um, it's going to be cut and scored for you if you are placing an order and you're getting this kit from me you are going to have it already prepped for you so to explain it though it's a little oh no I didn't do it <laughs> I just scored it so I am gonna to have to show you how to cut it that's hilarious okay so this is a four and a quarter by eleven and we've scored and folded it at six and a half and then we've made score lines on this and it's you probably can't see but we have one inch in, we have a one, go, one inch score line going in, and then another inch up for that, we have an inch score line. Same on the other side, going in an inch. And then over here, the score line is in one inch, score line, ah, oh, don't climb me, and then in one inch. Now, here's the fun part. I hope I don't jack this up. I'm going to have to get my paper trimmer which obviously I was thinking I already had it cut and um, we'll show you how to do this 
and we'll show you a quick trick for your paper trimmer and this actually works great for this so our paper trimmer usually it doesn't come with this white strip here this is double-sided tape that I've put down um, this was not my idea it's I think it was on the the Stampin' Up! Leaders page so if you put the double-sided tape down but don't peel it so you've got the white part and when you're trying to make those score lines you can see these numbers a lot better okay so we're going to make a cut from this first score line that's one inch in and we're going to make a cut all the way up to this score line and then we're going to do the same on the other side so we're going to have one little cut all the way through right let me double check before I do it so if we lay this flat or maybe this is a good visual here we go if we lay this flat we can see that this is scored an inch in there's a score here and a score here score here score here and then this is scored here then this is our cut so I lie we're gonna go all the way up to this big um, score line here so we're gonna go from one inch all the way up to the big score line now when you're doing this when you first score it you'll you might cut it and you'll score it at like um, six and a half and then you start measuring and scoring don't do it on the short side you want to do it on the long side from that score line okay so we're going to go from that little one all the way up to the top but not past that big score line wish me luck here we go so I'll put that in and you've got your one inch line here on the right can we see that in the video and then so we'll just line that up at the one inch and then this actually puts it down around the 10 inch mark so we will put our blade and start there and then go all the way up to this main one hope I'm doing this right this is where you cross your fingers then we turn it around and then we can start at that one inch which now we can see that here because there's a little groove right here on the side so line up that little groove with this one inch here and then we're gonna cross our fingers and go all the way down to the six and a half inch and again you can see it here and there's a groove both sides so you're lining up with the six and a half inch voila yes love it when it works okay that was intense <laughs> and you think oh well this is what's wrong what have I done wrong there's one side longer than the other that's okay it's supposed to be that way because when it pushes up see how this pops up so it's supposed to be longer on one side than the other side if it if it's not you've done it wrong <laughs> so it needs to look wrong you've done it right okay and then really this is simple we fold this top score in without folding the other part as I say it's simple so we pull this pull it up in the middle and squish it just give it a good squish oh no no kitty leave the iPad no Libby and then we're gonna put this one in and this one in so that's like at the two inch score that's gonna go in and it's gonna kind of just when you do that am I making sense so this is all scored now almost looks like a number one do you see that voila so the top one goes up and then the second or the this bottom one also will go up as this one goes down so it's folding up on itself okay folding up on itself because it needs to fit in the envelope okay so then it's just a matter of decorating it that's the hard part with this card that's great and you can take this base decorate it how you want so many so many different ways now I do want to put somewhere to write on here so we will start by putting this 
on the back make sure we've got it the right way because it's not quite a square so you want to want you're going to want to cut a four and a quarter by a four so it's um i think it's skinnier this way i think it's four and four and a quarter but if you just do a four and a four and a quarter it's going to work hi sweet libby she's walking all around here I know, I think she needs to use the bathroom, which is not set up in here, so she's just going to have to wait just a little bit longer, kitty. Okay, so we're just going to put, if you wanted to add something on there, you could, but you don't have to. Then we're going to use our pretty paper, and let's see, we're going to need two pieces. Now here, these are all very close in size, so when you get the kit you will see two that are the same size and one that's a little shorter. So the one that's a little shorter, that's going to go on the front here. And again, sometimes when you cut it, you get that little ridge. I don't like it, so I just smooth it out. So that is, let me see, three-eighths. Oh, no, sorry, seven-eighths. By four and three eighths and four and an eighth by seven eighths okay that could be wrong but you'll get it in the directions in the PDF do, 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 do. okay so this one's gonna go here on the front and just center that Get a little bit extra glue then we're gonna get these two pieces and pop them on the sides. Hopefully they should fit wonderfully. And you can lay it flat if you want when you're doing this. Whatever works best for you. Oop, I can just put glue on my hand. No one saw that, right? No, nobody. So we're gonna put those two in the sides. We're not putting anything here in this little section. If you really wanted to go all out, you could cut a little square and stick it in, but no one's a really good, you know, I think, I think I like it better with the little pop of black in there just to break it up. It might be a little too much if you, if you did that. Perfect. And then we get our big piece and we're going to put it right here. Now this should fit right there. Perfect. And then figure out which way you want to put it. I think I like it this way. Almost there. And it should have a natural gap here, you see, between this one. So it's really, it's like at the edge of that right there, right along the edge. Perfect. Then we've got our cute little um, die cut piece and you see how cute this is right here with the little tree. And then we've got, this is also a die cut piece and we'll stamp them real quick. We've got, oh, just throwing stuff everywhere. May the good you do come back to you. I think that is really a sweet sentiment because there's a lot of people who do a lot of good for others. And we'll just pop that in there. And also a congratulations. This will also be good for a, um, a graduation card. For someone, you know, it's, it can be congratulations, but especially if someone's going into like a healthcare field or, you know, at a um, field where, you, where you're helping people. I think this makes a lot of sense for that. Of course, you can put whatever sentiment you want there that works. It could be happy birthday, happy anniversary, kitty cat. Okay. <laughs> She's just like, I'm just going to keep walking through until you pay attention to me. So some dimensionals on the back of this. See how quickly that just comes together. And it, and it will too, like the, the kit comes with everything. You really just got to stamp it and put it all together. How easy is that? 
and then a quick bow grab this before Libby comes and takes it uh oh your she loves ribbon bows she would just play with them and then I had to hide a card with the ribbon bow on it because she started eating it and I was like no hi Miss Libby hi oh, baby you're just gonna plop right down in front of me it's like working over a child or something <laughs> she's like right in front of me oh my goodness don't eat my don't eat the dimensionals not the dimensionals the glue dots that would not be fun and we're gonna put this right down here about centered and then just put some bling on it and again this one I colored with the um, the fresh freesia and I'll show you how to do that real quick just so you know you can see I already did one layer on this one you see the, the difference so you just put like a layer and then just let it dry for a second because it's alcohol so it shouldn't take long to dry put another layer on there and it just gives it that little difference there I'm gonna hold that up so you can see it do you see it Miss Libby oh you're like smudging my dimensionals everywhere like the backs of them so you see that difference right here Libby sees it <laughs> And then you can use your take your pick tool to put your bling on I and mean, just put them oh no okay make sure they're dry don't do like I just did oh ooh, la la we'll, we'll kind of just pretend that we'll just ignore that and pretend it's not there so obviously when you do that give it a second to let it really dry because I didn't have that issue when I first did this but just kind of make make sure that you get any little oh, Libby <laughs> any little extra ink off she's oh, now I've got pearls stuck to me upside down Miss Jane now it's stuck to my finger okay wait we put this one oh there we go oh my god she's got dimensional pieces stuck to her fur now <coughs> excuse me and that's it so let's just recap those real quick so you can see the four cards that you will get with free with purchase so you'll have enough you'll have all the ribbon in there you'll have all the die cut pieces done for you everything will be ready to go where's that last one miss Libby um, the only thing I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fussy cut anything <coughs> you can do that <laughs> and I will pre-cut this so all you have to do is fold it everything's going to be pre-cut everything's going to be scored ready to go and let's just push that down a little bit am I going the right way there we go so that is our something fancy fun fold cards love it great for so many different occasions and they're so bright and fun and just cheerful and you could even use these as this would be a great sympathy card um i know we always associate black with sympathy so i would even use this as a sympathy i would use this one as a sympathy um these two maybe no these just give me more sympathy vibes for some reason probably because of the black but yeah i hope you love it and again all the excuse me <coughs> I am so sorry oh my goodness I probably got cat hair down my throat <laughs> but um if you've stayed watching this whole time thanks if you haven't I get it that's a long recording it's like 49 minutes so um hopefully if you do get the kit you know you can sit there and make this up pretty easy with this tutorial and again, you will get the PDF. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.